Hey Chain TV people! I've been sent out of this house, it's nice and empty. It's been sold, but when the survey has been pulled, pulled up that there's no firewall in the loft. Uh, there's obviously this, this is the kitchen, as we can see. So there's a, obviously a roof behind us, and to this wall behind me is shared with next doors. And I thought I'd do a video on this one because it's actually got half a firewall and half without. So let's put the torch on and crawl in the loft, eh? Uh, okay, so can you see that brick wall there with that pipe with the torches shining? So that's a firewall. So that if, in the event of a fire, as you can see, there's a, there's, a, there's a side of the wall that's joining to next door. And that wall continues up into the loft. You see? But then if you look behind me, looking in that gap and the, where the black is and there's no wall it's just a big void so you can see the rafters here that's a very small space so the way we're gonna have to do this oh, that was harder than I thought if I explain to you down here you'll understand a bit more so basically this wall behind me here is built up to this part in the ceiling and then it's empty so what we need to do is continue that wall and go right up to the up to the ridge board inside the loft and then fire foam around it for eggs so the easiest way to do that now is just gonna have to be drop all this ceiling down here and we build it up because we physically can't get anybody to around there unless you're about unless you're a six-year-old you're not gonna fit through that gap in my opinion because I couldn't really show you much in the loft. I've come into the main loft because I've had a look at the survey on this one as well. So this one, with it being a lot bigger, even though I can't get this through this loft actually because it's a bit on the small side, strategically set my torch up. And if you can see, that's there's a brick wall there holding these purlins up. So where my finger is here, and here, but obviously inside, that's the next door where my fingers, that's the next door's loft. So in the event of a fire, because the wood's made, because the roof is made of wood, obviously now that can set on fire and all the way to that can come crashing down. So the idea is that we build up the brickwork between the two. So it would protect the next door's roof and stop it spreading down all the terraces. So that's a typical construction of a mid-terraced. Thank you. 